on today's Pro Presenter Show, playing a slide loop while giving lyrics to your worship team. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where every week I talk about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. So over on the Pro Presenter Users Group, which you can get to by going to TDM, short for Trinity Digital Media, tdm.fyi slash ppug, which is a Facebook group where we talk all about Pro Presenter. Over there, someone asked how to play a slide loop while giving lyrics to your worship team. Now, I thought initially, this is simple. You just do a command zero, you're done, and no, it's not simple. So let's head over. This is a sample lesson from the ProPresenter Hacks, Tips, and Tricks course, which you can get to over at learnpropresenterfast.com. So I want you to take a look at this lesson, and we'll see what the problem is and how I can overcome it using a little kind of out-of-the-box thinking. So if your music team wants lyrics while the slides go on, you might assume it's fairly simple. You would just go to Actions, then Show Slide on Stage Display Only, or Command-0, Control-0, uh, on a uh, PC, and so we start there. Okay, that's good. That's doing that. This seems to be advancing. Okay, so now I'm going to go over here, and let's uh, preview what that's going to look like. And um, go to here, so that this is here. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, now let's go back and we will uh, go back to the regular isn't that what was there before yeah actually it is so if we go to the element trans uh, transitions example which I'm using here as our slides you'll notice that it's not moving if I click on any one of them it doesn't move because of course I have the uh, I have that control disabled, so I start this, I disable that control, and while this seems to do something, there's no indication that it's doing anything over here. So what gives? Well, turns out that this turns off the automatic control of a pre-service or post-service loop as well as the manual control. So how do you get around that problem? Here's what I did. Basically, I created a movie. Uh, here, let me turn that off. Clear all. So I created a movie of these slides, and I made it so that it would seamlessly loop. Pretty simple to do. Um, go to Actions, Record Output. I've shown you this feature before. You set your settings. You start the recording. You click this. Then the next thing that I did is I opened that recording up in QuickTime and trimmed it so that the very first frame was right at the beginning of this first slide here. And the very last frame was right at the end of this last slide here. So doing that, I had a little short movie like this, which I have brought in here. Let me right-click and enable this slide. And we're going to right-click and go to Media Properties so that I can show you a couple of things that I did here. So... First off, I want this to set to loop so that it'll loop just as the um, the movie did. Um, this is a foreground movie. 
just as the slides did rather. So this is a foreground movie. It will set to loop. It'll loop indefinitely. So I'm going to start that rolling here. Might take it a second because I really should have transcoded this to ProRes uh, 222LT or something like that. Um, actually, it is ProRes 222LT. I should have transcoded it to H.264 to make it uh, play a little bit better. But that should play right here. Um, and then once it does that, here, let me clear all and get that started. So it should uh, play here. Yeah, here we go. Don't know why it didn't start, but it should loop once I do that. Okay, so once we do that, now we go and turn off control of the stage display, and you'll notice that that keeps going. We've got a, a little double thing happening here because I am on the evaluation version, so you'll want to do this on the the version you actually use for presentation. But so it's going now. By the way, that wasn't a glitch. That's just part of how this works on uh, this. I've tweaked it. But anyway, so now we don't have control here, so I can go back to Joyful, Joyful, click on this. This stays on the main display, and then if I do Command-3 and go to this view, you'll see that I do, in fact, have control here, and then I go back to the main view and it's still running. So that's the way to get around that problem in ProPresenter 6. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that now you, you're thinking, oh, well, that's all we have to do. Not all that hard. It's just not exactly immediately apparent. So basically, it's just creating a movie of the slides and going from there. If you like this content, you'd like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter. And there you can dip your toe into the ProPresenter courses that I offer for free. Or if you just want to say, hey Paul, I am sold, I want to just hop on into all your teachings on ProPresenter, then go to learnpropresenterfast.com and that'll take you to a list of all my courses. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity. <laughs>